Hi everyone. So finally nothing has made a phone that worth the hype. Even though it is far from perfect, but I think it's a well-balanced phone that deserves the title. I've been using this phone for almost 2 weeks now and if I'm being really honest, I did not miss a flagship phone. But this is how I feel and let me tell you why. I know many tech enthusiasts buy a phone for specs and what it offers for the price. But a lot of people buy a phone for how it looks because in the end it's a tool for you. A lot of people wants to stand out in the crowd. and i think this phone does that the reason i like this phone more than many colorful phones out there because it is unique but it's not very flashy but that doesn't mean everyone likes it my sister does not like the look of this transparent back but again in nothing's favor this is the first nothing phone she has seen in person and i think we all have been there when the first nothing came out i've been using this phone without any case and the screen protector it came with I traveled with this phone and I don't see any scratches so that's a good sign. Full disclosure I turn off the vibration on a phone which has a plastic back and a glossy finish so that whenever it's on a flat surface with the vibration it doesn't get scratches. But if you're someone who use vibration while ringing I would suggest a case. The white color is great when it comes to hiding fingerprint and I find it less cheap looking. I also like the black button with the white frame. I don't know I just like the contrast. but looks are subjective i gave you my opinion and you can give me yours but one thing we all can agree on the front look of this phone is really good where samsung is providing such ugly bezels and a huge chin in their a series phone nothing will give you that feeling that you are using a premium phone so when you hold this phone or look at this the phone does feel premium the screen is bright enough for outdoors and great for content watching the speakers are also really good which isn't always the case at this price point You will miss the HDR on Netflix but otherwise I don't have any complaints when it comes to display of nothing phone to way. In my impression video I said this phone lagged a lot when I was setting it up and also after that if I didn't set the high refresh rate to high not the dynamic I was looking at a lot of stutters but I think after the update of 2.5.4 the phone has been performing much much better for me. I did encounter a weird bug after the update but after a restart I did not face any of those issues. I know a lot of people are complaining about the UFS 2.2 and the MediaTek 7200 Pro but the thing is if you're not spec hungry person for day to day task it, this phone is adequate and that's the best thing I can ask for a mid range phone. The battery life has been great as well. I can easily get 2 days with 8 to 9 hours of screen on time. Even on 5G this phone did not give me any issues. I was getting 5G in many areas where even my 15 Pro couldn't get 5G. And all the basic things works great on this phone. There are times when I have seen that I might have to put my phone on airplane mode to get the best 5G speed and one of my friend also said that there are times when he faced that there is network but not getting any calls or internet. So let me know if you face that issue. I did not face the connectivity issue but I remember that it was showing 5G but I was not even getting the 4G speed but when I turned it on airplane and turned it off it was working fine for me and after that I did not face that issue. There is one more thing I noticed that the previous 2.5.4 update the phone was not charging to its full potential. I was using my Samsung 45 watt charger and Samsung 65 watt charger. and this phone was taking almost 2 hours for some reason which wasn't the case when i got this phone but we got a update yesterday and now i it, it is taking around 1 hour so i think that is solved now i did not use the glyph lights yes i did set up the flip to glyph and the essential notification but most of the time i forget that it is there it can be useful if you get in the habit of putting your phone facing down i have taken a lot of pictures from this phone and came to the conclusion that this performs really well considering the price and all the other things that this phone offers phone has improved with the software update but it still struggles especially when it comes to challenging situation it cannot handle the light very well in certain situations but if you can understand the weakness of this camera you can actually take really good pictures from this phone the color science is also good the details produced even with the 2x shots are really good The shutter speed is also good so you can take shots while walking in good lighting condition but the phone takes a lot of time processing images. The same goes with the night mode shot they're really slow to take and slow to process but I think the end result is really good. The phone is also getting better with edge detection in portrait mode after the recent updates and I actually like the skin tones on this phone. Video has an improved much so if you want to watch the example you can check my impression video it's basically same now. So this is a decent camera for the price. I wouldn't buy this phone just for the camera but the overall package which includes the software and the animations as well. 
Yes, the phone lacks some AI capabilities, but I can live without those. I really don't have anything bad to say about this phone. Yes, this is a paid review because I paid for this phone to make this review. Anyway, this is an easy recommendation from my side and I think this phone deserves the hype like I mentioned in the video. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box and if you already purchased this phone, can you share your experience with me? My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.